is a quick look at the EcoSmart tankless water heater. Uh, this is the Eco 27. It's the 27 kilowatt model. Uh, here we can see I have it mounted on the, the wall here in my utility closet. Um, here's the hot and cold lines coming into the unit. And on the front of it, you'll see there's a little dial here, which you can change the temperature that you want the water to come out at. Uh, I currently have it set at 105. And I also have hooked up here a little thermostat. Let's see if I can actually uh, zoom in on it here. And we can take a look at the, temp the water, see how accurate the temperature gauge is on the unit. Right now we're at, uh, what is that, 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, with uh, just the water sitting in the pipes and also I have hooked up a whole house power meter so we can take a look at the wattage uh, currently I'm sitting at about uh, 741 watts it looks like I have a PC on and some lights and some other things I think I've been hovering right around that 741 here so we'll see how much this, this jumps by when we crank on the heat here so I have it set to 105 degrees. I'll go ahead and turn on a faucet to hot. Okay. And as soon as it detects the flow, you can see the LED on the unit kicks on uh, to its setting of 105 degrees. And here we can see the inline thermostat that I have hooked up. Pass an 80 and let's see I have it set to 105 let's see how accurate it is boss it's nice and hot already and we are top was at 102 uh, the camera won't show the angle exactly right it's dead on 105 degrees it looks like almost exactly but when you're looking at the gauge straight on. And let's see what kind of juice we're pulling down right now. Uh, what are we at? 14.7 kilowatts. And I'll, let's see if it stabilizes at about that with uh, just one faucet. You know, let me kick a little more light down that way. Looks like we're holding steady at 14.8 kilowatts. That's with one sink faucet running on full blast, all hot. And it looks like we're holding steady at about 14.8 kilowatts. And the temp, actually the temperature is a little hotter than it should be. Uh, that could be by design, I'm not sure. But it looks like we're at 110 degrees according to this uh, analog gauge. Actually, it's more like 112. One, so it is it is running a little hotter than what the temperature on the unit actually is set at. But I, I'm, as you can see, I'm still set at 105 degrees, and we are holding steady at 14 kilowatts. So it's not using uh, the full 27 kilowatts. One of the advantages of this unit was supposed to be the self-modulation, where it only uses uh, the proper amount of power based on demand. Let me shut the sink off, and we'll see. Uh, and there we can see we are down to 737 watts once the unit has completely shut off. And the temperature in the pipe's holding steady at 110. So I haven't had it long enough. I mean, this is literally, I've only used it a couple times here, really. I've just got the thing all set up. You can see I have the, the hot, I use the Shark Bite hot water heater connectors. They're really easy to use. And, uh,. <laughs> You can also see here's where the the three this thing does take and at least this particular model does take three 40 amp 220 volt breakers with eight gauge cable so i stopped over at home depot picked up some eight gauge cable and uh mounted it here on the wall runs right up into the bottom of the breaker box so far so good i mean it, it works as advertised I'll have to see how much I'm, you know, saving. The real point of this being saving energy. So we'll have to take a look here and see uh, when my monthly bill comes here, how much of a reduction 
in power usage I have. I went with the, the largest model that they offered. Uh, not all of them require three 40 amp breakers. The smaller models you can get down to two, two breakers, even one breaker. But I didn't want to underbuy. I wanted enough where I could have a couple things going at once. So far, never run out of hot water. So I'm very happy with the product. Um, I'll try to update the comments once I uh, figure out if the energy savings is really paying off. Okay. Here's a look at the unit uh, without the cover on it, which you can find plenty of pictures online, but I figured I'd just show it with the cover off. There you can see um, the wires coming in from the breaker box, the three, the three lines, each running, and uh, there's also a ground line as well. But it's pretty. It was pretty as long as you follow the directions in the manual. It's not a. It's not super hard to hook it up. But any time you're working with this much electricity, it's best to pay a professional to do it. If all you need to the plumbing's really the easier part. The more dangerous, better be careful, comes into play with uh, when working with that much electricity. If you're even unsure, I would just pay someone to come out and wire it up. But uh, there's a quick look at the unit. You can see it's real quiet. It doesn't make much any noise at all. Here, I'll turn the faucet back on. And you can hear there's like a slight, almost not ticking exactly. I think what that noise is actually is the, the, flow, right, the flow sensor that's measuring how much water is flowing. It makes a slight noise. But other than that, you know, it's, since there's no real moving parts other than water flowing through it, it makes basically no noise.